Right, item 5.8, the electrical vehicle charging stations. We have Mr. Dennis Lewis. Thank you, Madam Chair, <coughs> Councillors. Um, just before we go on to the paper, we have uh, two gentlemen from uh, Unison here, Nigel and Len, who would like to give a, a short presentation on the, the EV proposal. Thank you. Welcome. and Nigel Purdy, my colleague. Um, thank you, Madam Chair and Councillors, for providing this opportunity for us to, to speak to you briefly about an initiative we'd like to bring to Taupo. So Unison Alliance Company serves the area of Hawke's Bay, Taupo and Rotorua. We serve 110,000 customers throughout this region. Uh, we have lines, cables in your local area. We also have a presence in staffing here. We have 24 people in our depot. We do a lot of first response and building of lines and poles and substations, restoring power for communities in times of need. We've also brought a lot of new technology to this region since we've owned it. Uh, so we've owned the network in 2003. We purchased this network and Rotorua at that time. And we brought some fast technologies and smarts to the area to restore power quickly without spending a lot of capital and additional assets. We spent $48 million in, in a short period of time bringing that technology, but also enhancing some of the business community of this area. So just talking about some of those quite quickly is we we'll all remember the August snowstorm, Rangitaiki. We saw over 100 people here working to restore power over a four week period. We brought a big crew in from around New Zealand to do that. So we have a very big presence here. We also work in partnership with uh, Wairaki Pastoral for the development there and bringing power to them to make sure that they can do their business as they require. So we do have a, a big presence and a big association with this region. But one thing we would like to talk to you about today is electric vehicle charging and how, while we have deployed smart chargers in Rotorua, in Hawke's Bay, in both Napier and Taupo, and for our neighbouring lines company in central Hawke's Bay, which we have a management services contract for, we have deployed already chargers there. And the gap, as you can see in that map, is a fast charger here in Taupo. And we have proposed to install one downtown Taupo to bring people into this region. So I'm going to hand over the stage to <coughs> Nigel just to talk a little bit about our proposal. Thank you. Um, as as uh, Len has described, um, the gap on the map is, is Taupo, and we've been doing a lot of work over the last months looking around town to find a suitable uh, location for a fast charger. This is an exercise of compromise essentially because there's a number of factors that need to come together to make this work. Um, the um, First and foremost, where, where are people wanting to stop? Where's a, where's a convenient place where people will stop? Because it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to recharge a, um, a, an electric vehicle using a fast charger. It needs to be a place of convenience, near amenities, near facilities. Um, also, with um, uh, also with um, uh, a suitable place that's safe, um, that, that has space for the electric vehicle to pull into a suitable ca um, car parking space. Practicalities like where exactly the um, connection point is on the car. It's in different places, on different models, um, and also um, where there's electrical capacity available. Um, a fast charger needs a very heavy um, electrical supply capability. So it uses quite a lot of um, electrical network capacity. 
So this, the site we've, we've um, selected is um, just a block across from here, um, the other side of the fire station, um, alongside the existing car parks um, beside the station. And we're proposing to um, build new parks to um, provide for the um, electric vehicle charging spaces and place them in a, um, as, is, as is shown in this mock-up picture. We've considered other um, details, if I flip to the next slide, uh, working with um, council information about existing um, services that are in the area. Uh, you might be able to see on the, on the um, graphic here that there's a blue band through the middle, that's an existing um, high pressure water main. So we have to keep the equipment away from there. So we've configured the, the sites so that they keep clear of that water main exclusion zone but fit within the available space uh, between the driveway to the, um, to the side on the, at the back of the fire station property and the existing car parks. We've, um, we're proposing to install um, one initial fast charger, which would serve as two parks, but over time um, add more in either ourselves or in partnership with others who we work with to, as, as we do with other electrical connections, facilitate um, more of those to come to town. Another factor in our selection is um, a desire to have this in the downtown area and attract um, visitors to Taupo into the central um, area. Uh, for, for their purposes, being close to amenities, but also to bring that, that business into town. Uh, so this is the site, as I say, after <coughs> considering many around town and working with council staff um, to, um, to identify what we believe is the best location that, um, that suits all of those purposes and that is the site we're proposing and requesting um, endorsement of. <coughs> Can I, that's good. How long from flat to take to charge a car with your charges? Is it 30 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour? It does depend on the battery size, but it's typically for a Nissan Leaf, for example, which is a very common, it's the most common model in the country, um, 20 to 30 minutes. Um, that's from near flat to pretty much full. Okay. Yep. So the, the person charging would have to remain with that vehicle until it was charged? Like they uh, couldn't just plug it in and wander off downtown? No, they could. Yeah, it's um, it's safe, um, it's self-managing in terms of, um, of leaving it there, so yes they can. And in fact there are notification systems in the back office um, system that supports that to send a notification to the person, send them a text and say it's full now, um, come back and pick it up or move it on so someone else can use the park too. That's what I was really mm. questioning. Yes. Right, yes, yes, there's quite a lot of et etiquette developing around how <laughs> electric <laughs> vehicle <laughs> parks are, <laughs> are used here. Yes, okay. but it's fine to leave them um, <coughs> self self managing. Cool. Uh, the last graphic I have is um, is an indication of the types of um, vehicles. Um, this is a selection of all the models that are um, on New Zealand roads already, and the coloured dots indicate which type of um, charging um, system, which which standard they used. So there is a mix, and the charger we're proposing to put in place covers. Um, the ones with everything but the, um, the red um, dot, um, all the others would be covered by the um, technology that we are uh, proposing to deploy or others who would deploy similar ones alongside us. Uh, and that's the conclusion of our slides. Mm. Right. Right, okay. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Len and Nigel. Do you have any further comments to make? Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Just uh, draw you to your attention to the report on page 155, item 5.8. Um, recall, councillors, that back in November um, there was an expression of interest for EV charges and uh, location um, up in the McDonald's car park was selected. Um, we selected one vendor for that and um, subsequently they declined that offer um, and since that time Anderson have indicated um, a preference for this Kaimanawa site. Thank you Dennis. Any further queries? Um, thank you Madam Chair. Just a question from me I guess to Dennis. Um, how well utilised are those current car parks in Kaimanawa Street? Uh, they're relatively well used by council staff, but what Unison are proposing is the construction of an additional six parks. Okay, thank you. Excellent answer. Any further questions? Nothing further? 
So we have two recommendations here. Obviously, you can see them in front of you. The Council approves Unison's proposal to establish an EV charging station on Kaimanawa Street adjacent to the fire station. Or number two, that Council revokes resolution TDC 201611-11 in relation to electric vehicle charging stations as set out below. It's, it's and, both. And. 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 Oh. Thank you. Um, I'll, I'll move that. I'll second. All those in favour? Aye. 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 Thank you. Carried. Thank you, gentlemen.